Hi guys, welcome to Maths Skills uh, for Section 3, uh, AQA Biology. So, uh, last video on Section 2 cut off at this point when we were looking at the vaccine and monoclonal antibodies. So, really quick recap on this. You need to calculate the percentage increase in the mean concentration of antibodies in blood between samples 2 and 3. So really typical question, really typical skill, looking at the percentage increase or decrease. So we need to write down uh, what the mean concentration is for those samples. So we've got 37 here and we've got 2 over there. So what do we do? We need to look at the change, okay, over the original. They want the increase, so original is 2, okay, times 100. So we will have 30. Uh, 5 uh, divided by uh, 2, so that's 17.5 times 100, 1750%. I'll explain the difference between the mean concentration of antibodies in blood samples 1, 2, and 3. So first you need to know what those are. So those uh, samples 1 are before the first dose of vaccine, no antibodies at all. Number 2, it's after the first dose, sorry, you can't see here, so it's after the first dose of the vaccine and number three is after the second dose keywords here so um more antibodies okay faster production of antibodies because you've got memory cells in the sample in here they were exposed to the vaccine for the first time so plasma cells uh, were produced uh, by uh, because the b cells divided by mitosis and produced then uh, anti bodies okay so that's what we will say sample one before vaccine so no antibodies sample two after the first dose so b cells uh, divide into plasma cells which releases antibodies and sample three you've got memory cells which were produced and they produce antibodies quicker and more of the antibodies so if you watch my video on b cells you will see those key terms there as well so now section three um, ex, uh, math skills so here you need to be able to calculate the surface and the volume of the uh, different shapes so here there's there are the equations that i would strongly recommend you know by heart so cube okay the surface uh, uh the volume the sphere surface and the volume and the cylinder so normally what they're asking you to do uh, let's let's focus on the sphere for example so they tell you that the diameter of the sphere is let's say six centimeters so this is uh, the equation because we're interested in the volume that you need to now apply so four over three pi r cubed so you've got everything what you need here because four over three you can work this out pi it's 3.14 and R, R it's only one thing that we're missing in this equation, which we can get from the diameter. So you need to remember that diameter is two times radius. So your R will be diameter divided by two. So in this situation, it was six centimeters. So six divided by two gives you three centimeters. Then you put this into equation. So it will be four over three pi, okay? r cubed so three uh, cubed and then you can work out your volume so it's not hard okay but you must remember those equations because the examiner doesn't really have to give it to you so make sure you know the equations by heart so another uh, key math skill is that you might uh, be able to look at the um, pulmonary ventilation rate which is the equation tidal volume times breathing rate so i found one question that it's asking you about this so firstly they're asking you to describe the two curves and be careful when you've got graphs like this because you've got the tidal volume here and you've got the breathing rate per minute in there okay so different uh, curve for the breathing rate and different curve for the tidal volume and also you've got the different values on those y axis okay so that's something that you need to pay attention to so for the tidal volume increases um steeply and then increases slow down after 10 to uh, 15 
uh, kilometers per hour. Okay, we can see it here. Breathing rate then it's different, so the increases slowly, which we can see here, and then steeply after those 10 to 15 cent, uh, kilometers per hour. And then you need to calculate the total volume of air brief in and out per minute. Okay, so that was the speed here given to you 20 kilometers per hour. And uh, how to do it? So obviously you need to uh, uh, look at your tidal volume and the breathing rate. So draw a line. So this is the line that shows you you are focusing only on that 20 kilometers per hour. And then you're reading of the values. So for the tidal volume, okay, the value will be like 2.7, 2.75. And for the breathing rate will be 20. Right, so we've got 2.75 in here, and then we just multiply those values because we know tidal volume times breathing rate it will give you will give you the answer which will be 55. Right, so another math skill, uh, cardiac output, which is a stroke volume times heart rate. Heart rate easy 60 over the length of one cycle. Then the stroke volume, the highest volume you're going to find on the graph or in the table, take away the lowest volume. Okay, so it could be graph, could be table. So let's have a look here. We need to calculate the volume of blood pumped per minute. Okay, so how do we do it? So the stroke volume, okay, what we say, the highest minus the lowest. So the stroke volume is 80 centimeters cubed. One cycle lasts, and how do we find this? So you can draw the lines again, okay, where the repeat starts and finishes. So one cycle, it's 1.24, which you can see here, minus 0.48, which you can see here, which gives you 0.76. So that's your heart rate. How to work out the number of beats? So what we say, 60 over the length of one cycle, so that's 79. And the volume pumped per minute, okay, so we've got the stroke volume times the heart rate, and that gives you the answer of 6,320. Similar situation, but with the table. So the same approach applies. So you need to look at the values that keep repeating themselves. So for example, 120 in here and 120 on uh, that side. Okay, so, oops, we've got 120 here as well. So that means that the one cycle, it lasts from 0.1 to one second. So it's 0.9 seconds. So you're including all of this uh, to find the time. So, uh, working out the beats per minute, so 60 over the length of one cycle, so 60 divided by 0.9 gives you 66.67 beats per minute. So, another one, the stroke volume, okay? So, same here, what we know that one cycle is um, 0.9 seconds, okay? So, that's what we worked out before. And then uh, they want to know the stroke volume, so the volume of In that manner, as before, when we look at the repeats, so from 120 to 120, the highest volume is 120, the lowest then was 50. So we take those away and the answer is 70 centimeters cubed. So uh, that's everything for the section 3 map skills. See you later.